Hello, investors. Um, so I got up early this weekend. Um, I don't know why, I just couldn't sleep. Um, yeah, so I did some studying on the crypto and spent about two hours listening to some videos and coming up with this. Uh, very important stuff. A lot of things are occurring in crypto right now, and that's why I devoted a lot of this time. And, and I'm going to make about two to three videos out of four pages of notes, you know, two pages front and back or four pages, whatever you want to call it. Um, there was just so much stuff on how the world is changing. And what I've done the past year, my Facebook for the past year now, since I moved to Grass Valley, has been primarily devoted to cryptocurrency. Yeah, I'll post some stuff here and there, I me mean, lifting a little bit of weights or, you know, but the, the most energy that I put into on my posts is stuff like this to help you understand what's going on in the world financially. And I'm trying to be able to read, okay, the minutes time. I gotta keep an eye on that minutes time. I gotta keep these videos under 10 minutes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is kind of make about two to three videos this morning that are shorter in length, about 10 minutes a piece-ish uh, or less. And you can decide which ones you wanna watch. They're very important, like a lot of, the pieces to the puzzle right now are getting put together in the world, okay? So this is critical. It's still time to get uh, digital currencies and stuff. You still got time. Yeah, on a lot of them, the prices have gone up. Um, some of them are up to 30 bucks. The ones that I recommend, that used to be cheaper now, like $30 or whatever, but I'm just telling you. So anyway, let's. I'm going to go ahead and start into this. I made videos... And, and sometimes I'll be reading verbatim what I wrote, just because I don't have this all memorized and stuff. But about a year ago, I started making videos talking about a great reset and an end to our paper money. So I was telling people, we will not be using paper money in the future. And I was talking about that and showing the little Visa crypto card that I have. And I was showing people a long time ago, like, hey, you know, that money stuff you're using, that'll be over. Oh, burn. And how XRP would be used as a world's currency. That's what I've been saying for a year. And little by little, it's all coming true. See, when I started on this, it's not just about invest in XRP like a stock or that's the special stock tip of the day. No, I've been telling you to invest in it. Why? Because it'll be the world's currency. I've been telling you about how the world's going to change. You know, I'm... Anyhow, I'm just going to continue. Number two, Ripple's partner in the UK, it's called SoftBank, and they've invested multiple billions of dollars into a deal into the Chinese digital exchange. <laughs> and it's owned by ZT Mobile. And this is how the global markets are being connected. Okay, so what's going on in the world? Well, in the past year, a whole lot of things now it's speeding up the transition into a global electronic digital currency. This move by um, SoftBank, SoftBank and ZT Mobile is where East meets West. Okay, it's where the the world is closing in. Even though as big as the world is, they say there's an old saying: the more things change, the more they stay the same. And as big as the world got, like in the old days. They traveled from Europe to the New World, right? Which was the United States. But it was already inhabited by Native Americans, whatever. But I'm not getting all that political crap, all right? So, in the old days, the new... Like, people thought if you went a certain distance, you'd fall off the planet. But see how now with computers and technology, the world's actually getting smaller, and I'm showing you that with digital, I've been showing for the past year, with digital currency, the world will become super small again to where they will have total control over us, okay? Just showing you. Um, so that's part of it is how this soft bank and China are coming together. The world is coming together and they're getting united. There's something called ISO 20022, it's the world standard for banking transmissions. 
in the future, about a year from now, it will be required that every bank, financial institution will use this ISO 222. It's like a communication and messaging system. So what is it? What it does is when you start, when you go to send a transmission to somebody of money, they're going to know how much is the interest. And there's like a whole bunch. It's a, it's a standard of communicating the terms and condition of loans. Why is that important? And the reason is because Ripple is the first blockchain. Let me repeat, Ripple is the first cryptocurrency and the only one right now and the only one that's using digital ledger technology in this ISO 200 or 20022. Some banks are and some are not, but Ripple is already like up there, ready to go. They're at the starting line, ready to just poof, go. <laughs> They've tested it, they've made sure it works, on and on. Why? Because, like I've said for the past year, Ripple and then the XLM will be the global standard for sending money. Uh, number four, the Financial Action Task Force, or FAT, is a global governing body. Now listen, a global governing body that crafts international regulations that are quickly adopted. What they do is they're going, when they say, okay, it, it's a G20 member. So there's 20 nations. I'm showing you how everything's going global because one day there will be a one world leader. Just telling you. The new world order and all that crazy stuff, it's happening. So now you've got 20 nations determining where all the financial stuff is going to and how it's going to get done. <laughs> These 20 nations develop, and the United, uh, United States is one of them. These 20 nations are calling shots on how everything cryptocurrency will go down, how everything banking, this, that. It's, everything is predetermined. Nothing is like, oh, gee, this just happened. No, everything's planned out. Okay? The IMF is proposing ways to increase trade using their currency. It's using the IMF's currency called the SDR, Standard Drawing Right, okay? It's basically a currency. And it's a basket of currency mixed up with like, you know, five or more different countries' monies. So it's a blend of monies. It's not just uh, some mysterious money. No, it's a blend of dollars and yen and this and that, and they call it an SDR. The IMF gives a loan... So they give countries loans as needed. The, uh, the IMF will use a cryptocurrency to issue the SDR in the future to track it. They're going to issue starting very soon, and it'll be XRP, XLM. The IMF will be distributing the SDR in a digital currency form. Gee, wonder who they're going to pick. I'm just telling you. And, and, and why are they going to do that now? Instead of just like giving you a bunch of money so they can track it. Look, tracking is coming up in our future. Everybody will be tracked, either microchipped or whatever. Your phones, you know, they record your phone. They probably record everything you say, everything you type. Everything will be tracked so that that one person, the Bible talks about it, that one person will end up ruling the world. This is how it all be done. It's not a secret. The Bible already predicted this, like, I don't know, thousands of years ago, how everything like this would go down. All I did was read the Bible, know what the end game was, and then heavily invest in it, because I already know that this is how it's going to be done. Okay? So when I end up with, like, hundreds of millions, it'd be like, well, gee, he got lucky. No, it's like I, I read the Bible and learned what the end game is, and then shh, got my investments lined up and started thinking about, if I was going to rule the world, how would I do something like this? Very quickly, uh, I got like 30 seconds left. That way, the IMF can see how the money they give the countries is deposited. So it's all about the world currency. The IMF is pushing this thing to happen. And they're going to use digital currencies so they can track everything. And that's the end of video one.